Hi guys, welcome to Python tutorial. In this session, I am going to explain Python literal. First, let us see what is meant by literal. So, literal is going to represent a value for which we are going to assign to the variable. For example, a equal to 10. That means, currently, a is in a variable which holds the value of 10. So, 10 we can consider as a literal. So, in Python, we have different type of the literals. That means, number literals are there, string literals are there. That means, basically, literal represents what type of um, data a variable is going to hold. And now, in string, uh, in Python, we have different type of the literals. So, literal can be a string, integer, float, long, and Python supports complex data types also. And if you go with the Boolean literals, uh, Boolean, Boolean literals are true or false. And uh, advanced uh, collection related uh, literals are list is there, set and dictionaries. So, these are the different type of literals uh, it is going to support in um, Python. So, in this session, we are going to see a basic um, examples related to the uh, basic data types like uh, strings, uh, integer, float, long. And later tutorial, we are going to see in detail about this advanced uh, collections like a list, set, and dictionaries. Okay, so in this session, let us see basic um, uh, understanding on the these literals. I am going to explain this one with an example. So I already opened my Eclipse, and I am going to create a PyDev module. Here, I'll specify the name as literals demo and click finish. I want with the default template. Let it go with the default template. First, let us see few example related to the um, few example related to the um, strings. Okay. So, first we can say that in the case of uh, strings, we have two ways you can represent this string. One is using the inside the single code, another one is the inside the double code. So, text 1 equal to, this is single line string, string. Okay, now I can print this value, print text 1. Now, let us go ahead and run this program. Directly, you can run from here. Python, run. Okay. Now, if you see here, this is a single line string. Similarly, you can represent string with double quotes also. This is single line string representation. Okay, now again I can go ahead and run this program. This time you can see that, sorry, I haven't print this value. Let me print text 1. Okay, so if I run this program, this time you can see that this is a single line. Uh, now it has printed two, uh, two um, it has printed the two lines. And then next, next one is, you can specify the multi-line string also. In order to specify the multi-line string, you can do in two ways again. One is using text1 equal to single code. This is multi-line string representation. How you can specify multi-line string here is just it enter, it will not accept. So, in order to specify with the single code, you just need to put a forward slash here. Okay, now you can print this text, text 1. And now if I run this program again, now this time you can see that here the first two uh, represents the um, this one, these two statements, 
and second one is going to represent the second one. Okay, so this is how you can specify the multi line. And another way is for the multi line strings, triple quotes actually. So this is example for multi line string representation. Okay, so this is how uh, this is how you can one more. This is how you can specify the multi line. Now what we can do is print this text one again. And now if you run this program again, okay. So this is an example for multi line string representation. Okay, so this is how you can represent in the strings. So in the later tutorial, we are going to see completely because um, strings is a huge concept and it is very uh, very much required for uh, Python programming language. Since we are going to see all the operations, what we can do on the strings in later tutorial. For now, this is how you can represent the string literals. And next one, we are going to look at how we can represent the number literals. Uh, I am going to specify comment here number literals L number number literals is very easy because just you can assign a value then you can directly print that value here number literal is and yeah just you can specify that and similarly you can specify the um, long in order to say basically what happens is whenever you assign a value in the case of Python you need not to define the which type of uh, uh, value basically you don't need to define the which type of data type it is it automatically recognize the uh, Python at the runtime it will automatically identify the data type and it will uh, assign to that actually but if you want to explicitly convert in value, for example, this is going to be a number. That means it is basically an integer. If you want to explicitly convert to a particular um, data type, then you can specify for integer, you can convert based on, uh, you can pass like this. You can convert explicitly using the uh, 100. Now it is a integer. And A equal to, if I want to convert to the long, then I can specify this is the long. Sorry, uh, long is nothing but the shit, man, it's gone again. 